Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 6 of the Atletico Madrid career mode here on Xbox One. We're into the second week of uploads of this series. You guys have been absolutely loving it so far. I can't thank you enough again for all of the uh, the support and feedback you've been giving on this series so far. I uh, seem to thank you more and more every single episode, but the more you guys are superb, the more I have to keep thanking you because it really is fully appreciated. But we've been trying to get our hands on Mateo Kovacic after Mario Suarez left the club. We're trying to use the money to buy him. Unfortunately, Inter weren't weren't keen on accepting my £4.7 million bid which is the most I could really pay for him because I ran out of money I didn't have enough transfer budget but uh, they rejected the initial loan offer they rejected the next loan offer so I decided to go in again to uh, to maybe if uh, I put a future fee on the end maybe they'd let me loan him and then uh, buy him at the end of the season just as an, an extra incentive so we're going to try that again again raising it to 20% bonus per goal just an extra incentive for the player even though you know he's probably not going to score that many goals for us if he does come to the club but uh, we will We'll put the uh, the future fee in there. Of, uh, I think I can't remember whether I went for four or four point five or something like that. I went for four point five. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what Inter say to that particular deal. But uh, we're coming up to transfer deadline day, as you'll be able to see on your screen just now. The top deals in the bottom left so far, as we head into the last day of the uh, the transfer season. Robert Lewandowski from Borussia Dortmund to Chelsea, a massive move, thirty-seven and a half million pounds. Benzema to Arsenal was kind of predictable. Unfortunately, the uh, some of the fixes, or some of the uh, transfers rather, are a little bit scripted. Benzema does seem to go to uh, to Arsenal quite a lot. And then the third biggest to date was uh, was the transfer from Marco Susayeta coming to us from Atletico Bilbao. But unfortunately. Unfortunately, the uh, the offer for Inter Milan's Matteo Kovacic just isn't going to happen this particular transfer window. So I decided to go into my uh, my current player squad, and uh, we've got a player out on loan, Gila Voga, who uh, I only really found out how to pronounce thanks to uh, Hugh Wizzy on uh, Twitter. So uh, so shout out to Hugh for letting me. Uh, find out how to pronounce his name because it's a really weird one I, I tried on google translate and it just it kind of sounded a bit robotic and i still wasn't too sure but uh, there's a website that you pointed me to that gives you uh, really good pronunciations of players so if i ever struggle uh, to uh, to pronounce a player then I'll, I'll definitely try and check out that website because i do like to uh, to try and pronounce players names pr correctly if i possibly can but what am i even talking about look at that deal on the right hand side Luis Suarez to Barcelona for £40.5 million. That's massive for us because Barca was strong enough as it was heading for that league title and they're going to be even stronger with Luis Suarez on the, uh, on the books. But we've got to turn away from the transfer window now. We're back to business in La Liga. We're playing Real Sociedad who, as we stand after two games in La Liga, are actually top of the table winning both their games. If you remember the previous episode on this series last Friday, if you missed it, there'll be an annotation on the bottom left hand side of your picture but uh, we drew our opening two games against the Sevilla away and then somehow managed to only draw at home against Raya Vallecano so uh, we're looking to pick up a win if we possibly can but uh, obviously Sociedad are one of the stronger teams in uh, in the division but they're not very strong right in the opening minutes here Claudio Bravo absolutely chops Diego Costa as he goes round him and if there, if there was ever a clear goal scoring opportunity Surely this was it. No card whatsoever for Claudio Bravo. Not even a booking. So we're uh, actually going to let David Villa take it because look at his pen rating. 92. It's one of the best penalty takers in world football. He's going to step up. Going to go to the left. It's the post. So, so unfortunate for David Villa there. Claudio Bravo absolutely rooted to the spot. And Sociedad try and break on us. But their passing isn't quite as good as it could be. We nick the ball back. Diego Costa gets played in. Gabby's going to play a lovely ball over the top. Nice one-two return. Great first touch. Second touch is good to sell himself for the shot. Third touch unleashes it into the back of the net. And after being disappointed just a couple of minutes earlier, we are able to get ourselves a 1-0 lead in this game. Really, really nice finish from, uh, from Diego Costa there. I was particularly impressed because uh, he hasn't necessarily been... Uh, particularly accurate up to uh, up to this stage in the in the career mode series so far but for him to start shooting and on target as well is definitely something that we want to happen over the next few games if we possibly can but again Real Sociedad are going to be loose in possession here uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that defender's name but David Villa nicks it off him really tidy slotted finish into that bottom corner and somehow away from home in the 17th minute we take a 2-0 lead away at Real Sociedad and it was at this point I started thinking to myself maybe it is a little bit too easy maybe I should think 
about stepping up towards Legendary for the future, but Real Sociedad clearly were just slow getting off the mark because they definitely improved throughout the game. They had their first opportunity there. Bit of a tame header from the shot from, uh, I think it was Adjarece on the uh, on the end of it. On the header, it was a bit tame and uh, into the goalkeeper's hands. And Susayet is going to come close here. Lovely step inside. It's a fantastic last-ditch tackle from the defender making the ball deflect over the top of the bar. But that's how we went in at half-time with a 2-0 lead. Comfortable, but still wary of... Uh, of Sociedad being able to get themselves back into the game if they were able to get themselves a decent chance on target because they've got a lot of players that can really cause me a bit of problems at the back with uh, you know Carlos Vey and Antoine Griezmann etc but we're on the attack at the start of the second half ball's going to drop to, uh, to David Villa plays it back to Gabby another shot blocked in this passage of play we had a passage of play like this in the Real Vercana game that ended up with a goal but unfortunately this time we aren't able to do so but Gila Voga is going to come on for his debut replacing Arda Turan. I move Koke from a, from a centre mid roll out to the wide left, and uh, then Gilavo is going to sit there in the middle alongside Diego in the holding role. So hopefully he can solidify us at the back, and uh, we can continue to do quite well in this game and get ourselves the victory that we so desperately want. But Sociedad are on the attack. It's Granera with the ball, gets to the byline, stands it up. Agarete gets there. Not the best of uh, of headers. It falls to Chabi Prieto on the edge of the box, and you'll see from the replay. Just watch the technique as he tackles the player, and then while still in that same movement, digs the ball out from under his feet is really unlucky there not to get that on target that would have been a fantastic goal had it been able to fly into the back of the net and they were continuing to come at me towards the end of the game Antoine Griezmann is going to stand the ball up beautifully for Ruben Pardo a player that I was looking at in the uh, in the transfer window a young centre mid Spanish only about 20 years old and uh, he got off the off the ground superbly there to power the header into the back of the net and they brought it back to 2-1 were we under threat of uh, not getting three points in this game with Sociedad going to get themselves back into the tie. We're going to have a chance late on to try and put the uh, put the game to bed. Susayeta breaks away behind, beyond the uh, final defender. Claudio Bravo with a fantastic save. Koke whips it in first time. Falls to Diego Costa! And he isn't quite able to keep the left footed scissor kick volleyed down and unfortunately it flies over the bar. But we are able to get the three points. So very, very pleased to get our first victory in the league away from home at a decent side. So uh, that's definitely positive as we head forward into the rest of the season. But uh, a little bit late for my assistant manager to tell me this, but he thinks Aquino should be going out on loan. Now, I was trying to send him out on loan, but nobody came in for him. But uh, I may try and rotate him in and out of the first team if I possibly can over the next few games if we get perhaps a game in the Copa del Rey against lesser opposition or perhaps even one of the smaller teams in the league because at the bottom ends of La Liga, it's not necessarily as strong as uh, as the Premier League might be towards the lower reaches of, of the English leagues. But um, as you can see, we're going through the uh, the squad report in the background. Not too many improvements made at, uh, at this early stage of the season, although a couple of players, Marcel Sousaeta in particular, are uh, progressing quite nicely considering we've only played five competitive fixtures now, three in the league and of course the two Spanish Super Cups. Of course, as with any, uh, any moment when we go through the squad report, if there's any player stats you want to have a look at in more particular detail, then feel free to pause the video at any particular moment that you may wish to do so. But uh, hopefully we can uh, start to progress with all of the players. I'm going to try and make sure that my squad rotation is a little bit better in this series than it was in the Chelsea career mode. Rather than having you know two set 11s of rotating players, I'm going to try and rotate the squad as a whole, make it a little bit more realistic and blend certain players into the first team and out of the first team as we progress through and as fitness levels rise and fall, etc. We've still got a lot of youth players on the books. Manquillo is actually going to get a little bit of first team football now, of course, because considering um, Montoya's broken his ankle, is going to be out for three months. So uh, he and or Manquillo and, uh, and Wanfran are going to be vital to, uh, to our defensive outlooks. As you can see, Montoya had actually started to make the smallest of the improvements, acceleration going up plus one to 87. Aquino is the player that... Uh, I was recommended to loan out. Apparently, you guys have said in the comments that he progresses quite nicely and can go up quite a few ratings in the first season alone. So I may definitely try to uh, to get him involved. Thiago, unfortunately, 32 years old. His stats are starting to drop. Same with uh, Aaron Zubia. So uh, we definitely will be having to look for a goalkeeper. We may even have to look for a goalkeeper a little bit sooner in the January transfer window rather than waiting until the end of the season if his stats are going to drop a little bit more. Sergio Asenjo is hopefully going to be the keeper to, uh, to replace him at the end of the season, though coming in... Uh, the end of uh, this first season but he may not be uh, up to snuff we'll have to wait and see how he progresses out on his loan spell a few players out on loan as well this year uh, Silvio a right back that may get some first team football when he comes back Leo Baptistao another player that may get some first team football when he comes back and uh, Saul here the centre back 
Really impressed with the way he's progressing. At only 18 years old, rate 72 overall. He could be uh, he could be a sneaky package. And uh, so could Oliver Torres, 18 years old, 75 rated overall. He, in real life, is definitely one of the players that uh, they're ranting and raving about in Spain. So hopefully he can do the business out on loan and then come back and do the business for us next season. But let's have a quick look at the league table. Obviously, as you'll be able to tell, we're going to have a Champions League game at the start of the next episode. The videos will get longer as well from the next episode. We will be up to three games per video from now on until course we've reached a transfer window again but we're up to seventh not too far away from top just four points off top two points behind second so it's still all to play for but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb and i will see you tomorrow